Last but not least, we're going to look at punctuation. No surprises here, I don't think. The period is very much like a dot on the eye, a little circle that is filled in, sitting at the baseline. A comma is that circle, and you add a little hook to the side. A colon is two periods following the slant line sitting in the center of the X height. The semicolon is a period and a comma sitting on the baseline. The apostrophe is a comma sitting at the ascender line, so the little period filled in and you add the little hook or the tail. And then the apostrophe is two reverse commas and two commas again sitting at the ascender line. The exclamation point, you want to start square, so place, press, pull down at the three quarters of the ascender height and it's dynamic, so it tapers towards the bottom until you reach maybe the middle of the X height and then add a period at the bottom. The question mark sits at the same height. The release pressure on the curve as you come to the waistline and then add a short downstroke again to the center of the X height and finish with a period. The dollar sign is an S curve. It's about the same height as a number, including the top and bottom downstrokes. And your dash or your hyphen, remember the cross strokes are all very light. They sit at the center of the X height and they can be straight or add a little wave. And then the ampersand, you know that it stands for et, Latin et, so I like to make an e uh, come up and then add a wavy dash parallel to the waistline about the in the center of the x height to simulate that t.